Hey YouTubers, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at my Smith & Wesson Model 629. Since I've gotten this revolver, it's become one of my favorite guns to shoot for a couple of reasons. One, Dirty Harry, right? It's, it's just got this cool factor that nothing else can replace. Two, it's probably my most challenging gun to shoot accurately. So for me, just picking up this gun because it, it recoils the most out of anything I have, uh, it, it causes me to flinch more than anything else. So I have more of a tendency to jerk it off target as I'm pulling the trigger. So it's more challenging, makes it more fun, and makes me want to master it that much more. Um, and three, it's a 44 mag. It's a it's a powerful cartridge, um, and it's just it's exciting. It's it's a lot of fun. I've always been a fan of the 44 magnum cartridge. Around around 20 years ago, when I started buying firearms, I think one of the third or fourth firearms that I bought was a four inch stainless model 629 and this was before, I think it was a gun that had the hammer mounted firing pin and uh, machined hammer and trigger the target trigger target hammer and it was pre internal lock on Smith and Wesson's and my my youth I foolishly sold it or traded it for something I wish I would have held on to that gun because it was a it was a nice one there's also a fairly versatile revolver. So not only will it shoot the 44 Magnum cartridge, it'll shoot the 44 Special. 44 Special, ballistically speaking, is like a 45 ACP, uh, which is no stranger to anyone. Um, 44 Magnum can be loaded anywhere from around 160, 165 grains, all the way up to 340, maybe more. Um, and also offered in a wide range of velocities for all those different projectile weights. So you can basically shoot anything from around a the ballistic equivalent of a 45 all the way up to a 454 casul or so at the higher end of the 340 gram projectiles that are moving 1500 feet per second which is honestly the reason why i got into 44 magnum was protection from four-legged predators in the woods uh, let's face it we're not the top of the food chain when we go out in the woods so i want something that's packing a lot of wallop that you can carry on your hip that's not too heavy that could potentially defend you from from violent predators in the woods. So this isn't the first Model 629 that I've owned. I had one around 20 years ago. I think it was the fourth or fifth uh, firearm that I purchased. And it was for a similar a similar goal. It was to defend myself in the woods if I ever had to against four-legged predators. Um, it was a four-inch model, 629. And it was before they started putting locks in the frame and it had a hammer-mounted firing pin and the machined hammer and trigger so it was a nice one but in my foolishness and my youth I either traded it away or sold it to get something else. I recently acquired a Ruger Red Hawk in 44 Magnum with a 4 inch barrel stainless so I'm I'm really curious to find out the differences between between these because these are allowed to have some of the best triggers and actions on the market and I'm, I'm really excited to to figure out the differences between the Red Hawk and the Smith & Wesson. It sounds like a fun experiment and that'll be probably featured in an upcoming video. This particular model is a 629-3. This is when Smith & Wesson started putting enhancements on the gun so it could hold up to more recoil before it loosened up. A lot of people refer to this as called the endurance package. It's where they strengthened up the bolt, which is the cylinder stop. They, they strengthened up the, the crane and they beefed up the internals to withstand more recoil. A lot of people see this as an advantage, having the endurance package, the ability to shoot more of the magnum rounds and have the gun stay tight longer. And to be completely honest, I don't plan on abusing this one. I got the Ruger Red Hawk so I can shoot some of the hotter stuff that's pushing Kasul velocities and muzzle energy. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day and thanks for coming by.